Chess friends, I'm excited to share a remarkable 100,000 ELO chess game between Stockfish 17 Beta and the new Leela Zero chess engine. The engine GUI is set at an infinite ELO level with a hash of 16 GB and node time of 9 million, so the engines can produce up to 100,000 ELO moves. In this epic game I sacrificed my rook and knight and played three brilliant moves. Let's get started. E4 C5 Knight F3, Black could go with D6. Open variation of Sicilian then Knight F6, Knight here A6 then play Rook G1. Stockfish Gambit to push the G pawn, Knight C6 G4, Black can capture the G pawn after eliminating the Knight, but he will fall in our trap, Knight to D5, Knight E5 to give me a triple fork, but I will give him a taste of his own medicine, Knight C6 Bishop E3, Bishop B6 is coming to give him a fork on C7, Rook B8, Bishop b6 queen ups knight check king here discovered check, and black will lose the rook, white have material advantages and he can play bishop b5 now to pin the queen. Queen can't capture the bishop because of queen takes c8 will be a checkmate. We never really grow up, we only learn how to act in public, back to the position, Leo Zero played French defense of Sicilian, d4 takes takes a6, preventing that square and here, Many players blunder their game by playing bishop f4, placing two pieces in the fourth rank, e5 to sacrifice the pawn, captured queen a5 check and you will lose the bishop, so in this position, I played bishop d3. Knight f6 castle and after few moves I played c4 to develop the knight under the pawn and rook c1 to use the diagonal in future, that's why Leela tackle it with g6, taking advantage of this diagonal, after a few sequences of moves I played bishop to e3, Due to a6 move, the b6 square is undefended which is why I put my bishop on e3 to seize some queenside squares, so b6 f3, I played f3, the reason of this move is that, black developed bishop fumetto both sides. To reduce potential attack from black's bishop pair I need to develop my structure like this pawn chain in one side, rook c1 knight here and after some 100,000 elo rated moves I target to this pawn, bishop here bishop f4. E5 would create a d6 backward pawn in center, that's why e5 is not the best, so knight e5, I can't capture it because black can dominate the d-file with his rook with this open bishop line, bishop g5 backs a3 and we have some bishop and knight dances. After a few sequences of best moves black played h6, he want to reposition his bishop and king like this where f5 can be play in end game, rook d2 knight here bishop e2 knight d7 bishop g3, Leela extend her structure with g5, this g5 move gives me the opportunity to punish her with f4, takes takes to target the pawn and the kingside gets opened, king h7 knight f3, here if you dare to play an ordinary move, let's say bishop b7, then after knight captured d5, pawn can't capture it because of this so knight takes knight, takes takes rook d7 to get this rank, queen runs rook takes check, the king is completely exposed and after bishop g7 queen g3 rook g8 rook d7 is destructive, black can't prevent checkmate and the game will be over. Health nuts are going to feel stupid someday, lying in hospitals dying of nothing, so back to the position, Leela played queen c5 to exchange the queens, rook e4, b4 is a threat so she takes the free pawn on a3, queen f2 bishop c6 and I sacrificed the knight on d5, if you capture the knight, let me show you the variation, takes bishop e7 knight takes e5, knight captured to fork the pieces, bishop c1 to target it, queen e7 to protect the pawn, bishop e3 check king backs queen f5 to deliver checkmate on h7. f6 rook g4 check, king slides bishop takes h6, threatening bishop g7 check, takes then queen h7 will be a checkmate, so after takes queen h5 pins the bishop, queen f8 rook g6 to add pressure, Rook ups captured here rook h8 check, king g7 queen h7 check and mate. If you think you are too small to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito. Back to the position, black played bishop g7 bishop c1 queen a2 and we have first pieces exchanges, knight f3 to play knight h5 and targeting to the pawn after eliminating the knight, rook g8 queen e3, double up the battery to attacking kingside, my rook is targeting to the pawn and another rook is coming to target to the pawn, bishop f8 rook f1 and after a couple of moves later, we have bishop to b2, 
Rook f2 is coming to the pawn while bishop c2 can create some problems to the king, bishop e7. Threatening bishop g5 to pin the knight, bishop c2 bishop run away and I boldly sacrificed my rook on d5, if you capture the rook, then after bishop takes e5 takes takes, discover check, king run away knight e6, targeting to the pawn, bishop g5 queen takes e5 check, so f6 and we will sacrifice the another rook on f6, capturing the rook isn't allowed because it can lead into checkmating few moves, rook g7 knight takes g5, if you capture it then rook h6 will be a mate, bishop g6 takes and that's it. The game is completely dead lost for black, chess friends, if you are enjoying my content then please like and subscribe to my channel, back to the position, we have b5 c5, targeting to the pawn and you still can't capture the rook because of the same tactic as we discussed before, black will fall in white's trap completely, so Leela retreats her queen on c7, queen d2 captured captured, discover check, rook g7 because king g8 wants possible as the queen can enter to the h file. So after bishop takes rook takes knight e6 backs c6 rook a7 bishop d4, rook c7 queen e1, threatening to take the knight, rook backs takes takes c7, if you dare to save the queen, then after queen takes pawn, how can you stop me from delivering checkmate? Even the bishop can't protect his king, so rook takes e7 queen takes e5 to pin the rook and threatening mate at the same time. The game was absolutely legendary and brilliant, Leela Zero played very well but I am stockfish, it was the 100,000 elo game, hope you enjoyed the video and please like subscribe and comment, see you in my next video until then, watch my these videos.